In order for you to get the most out of this guide, you will need to complete the quest Secrets Revealed, which is the last quest from the Wastelanders DLC. You also need to max out your reputation with Crater and Foundation so you can get the best items. Stick around until the end of the video to see how to buy gold bullion using only caps. Gold bullion is a currency that is used to trade with gold bullion merchants for various late game plans and recipes. These traders include Mortimer, Samuel, and Regs, located in the Crater, Foundation, and Vault 79 respectively. Depending on the week, Minerva will also sell select items at the Crater, Foundation, Fort Atlas, or the White Springs Resort. Minerva has the best prices, so check the description. There's a link to an awesome resource that will tell you when and where she will be and what she will have. You will need to trade in treasury notes at a gold press machine to get gold bullion. Gold press machines are located at the Crater, Foundation, and at Artisan's Corner inside the mall at the White Springs Resort. Treasury notes can be exchanged at a gold press machine for 10 gold bullion each. Up to 40 notes may be exchanged per reset with the reset happening at 17 o'clock UTC every day. This means that you are limited to 400 gold bullion each day from the gold press machines. The limit will increase to 800 during the Gold Rush community event, so look out for that if you have a lot of treasury notes. Also, there is a 10,000 gold bullion limit per character, so no hoarding. Before I start telling you how to get treasury notes, I'm going to tell you another way to get gold bullion that doesn't require a gold press. One is the login bonus. Occasionally the bonus will be gold bullion, so log in and check the free item every day. The other way is to complete challenges for the scoreboard. There is usually a couple hundred gold bullion to get. If you have Fallout First subscription, then you can get a couple hundred more along with a bunch of other stuff. There are a couple of ways to get treasury notes, so let's get started with the easiest way first. There are four daily quests that will get you 11 treasury notes total per day. There may be a fifth quest sometimes, which would get you 14, but more on that in a bit. The easiest of the daily quests are located at the White Springs Resort. There are four quests to look out for, but only one will show up. Just open your pit boy and go to the data tab. From here, move over to daily. From here, look for a refugee's guide, code blue, recipe for success, and mutual aid. Select them and a marker will show up showing you where to go. Back in the day, we used to have to do these quests before we could use the vertebird that would take us to the pit. We don't need to do that anymore, but if you're looking for gold bullion, then do these every day. They are easy and reward you with two treasury notes each. A refugee's guide will have you take a few photos and gather a resource for Skippy. Code Blue will have you retrieve medical records for Rucker. You will help Esme make a stew during Recipe for Success and you will have to give a few resources to Sophie to complete mutual aid. The other three quests involve the Raiders, Settlers, and the Overseers, Mr. Handy Robot Davenport. Each will give you three treasury notes. There are two possible quests that will show up at the crater. They are called Retirement Plan and the Importance of Communication. Roxy will have you deal with the trader during Retirement Plan, and Ren will have you retrieve three radio vacuum tubes from a random location to complete the importance of communication. Only one of these should show up at crater at a time, but I have noticed that if I don't do these dailies for a while, then both will become active at the same time, which will then give you that fifth daily. Over at Foundation, you can complete a quest called Vital Equipment. Just speak to Ward and he will send you to get back some equipment that someone stole. You can find these quests on your Pip-Boy under the Daily tab, just like the other ones. The last quest is kind of hidden because it doesn't show up on your pit boy like the other ones. Just fast travel to the overseer's house and then the quest will pop up. Activate it and go talk to Davenport. He will send you to take some pictures of either Foundation or Crater. Bring them back and you will get three more treasury notes. If you complete your dailies every day, you can get 11 treasury notes which equals 110 gold bullion. Daily quest will reset every day. The exact time that quest reset does seem to vary. I've had some reset at 7 p.m. Central Time, while a few others took a little longer. The only other way to get treasury notes that I know of is to complete public events. Public events will show up with this icon on the map at the top of every hour and every 20 minutes after that. 
When you open your map, look down at the bottom left corner and it will also show if there is a public event active at that time. You can click on the event and join it from anywhere on the map. Some public events will get you more treasury notes than others. If you want to pause the video, you could see here which events will get you the most. It really doesn't matter though. If an event pops off, it's best to just join it since there will never be more than one. They shouldn't overlap and the same event should not happen more than once unless it's mutated. More on that later. Some of the events are not on a timer and require one of the players to complete a quest. These events are more difficult and usually require launching a nuke at a location and it usually takes several high level players to take down a boss. The event Seismic Activity requires a player to nuke the abandoned mine shaft number two. Scorched Earth requires you to nuke Fisher Site Prime and Colossal Problem requires you to nuke Monunga Mine. A Colossal Problem has the best payout in the game right now but is the hardest one so so be prepared. There is an event called Encrypted that requires you to have an Assaultron recall key card. You will use it at the Pylon ambush site to summon the Imposter Sheep Squash. If you go at it alone, all I can say is good luck. If you decide to do one of the more difficult events, then I would recommend making sure the server has plenty of players on it. You could do that by just looking at the map. It's best if a lot of players are at a higher level. You can also join a Discord. There are plenty of people on there that are more than willing to join you. As a matter of fact, you can learn most of the best ways to play this game by joining a good Discord server. The Mutation Invasion update brought us mutated events. These only happen at the top of every hour during community events, so check the community event calendar. There's a link in the description. Completing a mutated event will get you one additional treasury note along with some other goodies, so make sure you join all of them when you can. There is a slight chance that you will get treasury notes once completing daily ops or any of the expeditions, but I didn't want to bring up any of those because they are not a for sure thing. I told you if you stuck around until the end that I would show you how to trade caps for gold bullion, so here it is. Just fast travel to the wayward. Look for a guy named Smiley. He will sell you 50 gold bullion for a thousand caps. He has a limit of 300 gold bullion a week and his inventory will reset every Monday. That is everything I know about gold bullion. There's a good chance that I forgot something, so let me know down in the comments what's the best way that you get gold bullion. While you're down there, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. If you want to help the channel directly, then click on the super thanks icon before leaving a comment. If you want to know what one of the best in-game builds for Fallout 76 is, then check out this video right over here. It was really nice seeing you, but I gotta go. I'm Joey Keith, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Later.